we are in Sodetelje, close to Stockholm. We built here a new lock for the canal for transfer ships from the Baltic Sea to the north of Sweden. With the LRH 200, we drill permanent parts for the structures for, for the project and also temporary RD walls, steep excavations here. The biggest challenge is the soil condition as the level of the rock is changing and it's changing from 30 to 60 meters. So far we have only used for the TH drilling since the market here in Sweden is mostly aiming that technique but of course it can be easily adjusted also to uh, wet, dry deep soil mixing and also for CFA piles. So far we did not have any problems with the charging of the rig. We have several electric equipment in our fleet and we had greater challenges with other equipment than we have actually with this rig, which is our heaviest rig so far. It also was a nice challenge and surprise to actually choose an electrically driven rig. We were not very sure about the performance, we were not very sure how we will handle the rig, but now we are very happy that we made this choice to purchase this rig. This rig is very stable and very smooth to drive, in my opinion, and uh, really, really easy to learn to operate it. On the LRH 200, unplugged, I like the mast length, 24 meters engine length, by length. We are now drilling from 300 till 800 is the maximum diameter what we have tinkered for the machine. And uh, it's also really nice and fast machine to put on the transport. Two guys, two or three hours, we are already going. So that's really big things for us when we are moving from the side to the side. I am at the moment really happy about the machine and also that we are the first ones with my team here to working with that machine. LRH 200 is the really good uh, drilling machine and it's nice to work with electric rig as we don't have to transport diesel. We have less maintenance, we just connect and work.